Hi, I'm Tara O'Grady in New York City and you're watching Donegal TV. Keeping close to the Donegal and New York connections, Donegal TV also spoke to famous jazz singer Tara O'Grady. You had plenty money, 1922. You let other women make a fool of you. Why don't you do right? Like some My mother was born in Donegal, um, in Gort Ward, uh, Mount Charles, Inver Parish. And I spent every summer of my life, since the age of one, uh, on the farm with my grandparents, Pat and Nora, in Donegal. I love the Donegal people. You know, I have a lot of family in Donegal, obviously, but just the people are brilliant. They're so generous and open and friendly. And, you know, you can walk down the street in New York, and I'm so used to having a guard up and not looking at anyone in the eye. And when I get to Donegal Town, everyone's saying hello to me. And it takes me a few days to actually be responsive and polite because I'm conditioned to just look down. Um, but uh, that wears off. It takes me a week to get uh, New York out of my system and then Donegal sinks in and I start saying hello to people <laughs> and, and, and feeling the warmth and getting invited in for a cup of tea and some bread and butter and all the rest. Black is the color of my true love's hay His lips are like some roses fade He has the sweetest smile and the gentlest hands and I love the ground where on he stays Tara has been described as a full package, combining Celtic folk blues and especially jazz in her own unique style. Tara has been compared to Ella Fitzgerald and Aretha Franklin, and her third album, the aptly named Celt in the Cotton Club, made the Irish Voice newspaper's best albums of 2013 list. Tara raised in New York City on Irish traditional music, as well as the sounds of Elvis Presley, Hank Williams, Louis Armstrong and Nat King Cole, to name but a few, told us who and what influenced her music. My dad uh, is a fiddle player, so he was always playing music in the house and having a, a traditional session with neighbours and friends. You know, our next door neighbour was actually in New York from Glenties and we'd have family over and uh, they'd always say you had to give a song or do a dance or tell a joke or something so uh, there was always the Irish music in the house and then my brother started studying jazz in in secondary school and college so bringing the jazz into the house and then hearing the jazz and the Irish together in, in different ears I ended up combining the both and that's how basically it all started with my Celtic oh, jazz sound time is coming and the trees are sweetly blooming and the wild mountain time grows around the blooming heather will you go lassie go and we will all go together to pluck wild Tara's debut album, released in 2010, was called Black Irish. It's a collection of Irish songs she grew up listening to as a child. Her unique version of Danny Boy is featured in a BBC documentary celebrating the song's 100th anniversary. A New York audience or an American audience may not recognize, say, the likes of I'll Tell Me Ma or Nora, but they'll definitely recognize Danny Boy. And since it's such a recognizable song, and they're used to hearing it in that melancholic way, when they hear me swing it a little up-tempo and it's, it seems a little more happy, um, the one thing they'll say is, I, that was the first time they didn't cry. And the other thing is, they'll say, I've never heard Danny Boy done like that, and they just they, they love it because they just feel like there's, there's a breath of fresh air in it. And when Irish hear it and they know what to expect, then they're just like, we love how you've turned those songs upside down. So it's just, you know, putting a little spin on it. And all my dreams will one day sweet to be.
So, what does the future hold for Tara O'Grady? Tara says she hopes to write another album, which of course will have Donegal connections. Well, the Homes of Donegal is definitely a song that I've always wanted to cover. Um, and, and you know, I recently found out there's some songs here in New York that at the turn of the century during the vaudeville period, you know, uh, t- to a modern listener, they might sound very cheesy, especially since they were written for the New York Irish and not the Irish Irish. Uh, but a song like, say, My Irish Molly O, it was written by a, a New York Irish American vaudeville writer and a Hungarian from Budapest. And I actually lived and studied in Budapest in college, so I just found that connection interesting. So I, I, I've recently been playing with that song, My Irish Molly O, but swinging it like a Charleston. You know, So if I can dance to it and, and, and give it a tempo that I can dance to, then it's a song I want to work with. <laughs> Please won't you tell me who is she? Please won't you tell me who is she? Please won't you tell me who is she? Barry Weiss, Donegal TV, New York City. Well, that's it from our two very special programmes on Donegal's strong connection with the United States. Don't forget you can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, or check out our website at donegaltv.ie. We'll see you all again soon and from all of us here at the team, Slán Agus Bannon.